Always thankful. Now, Chantel, here we go. Game number two. Laos versus the Philippines. It's Laos on the play, banning out the Uranus. Oh, so I guess uh, it's going to be uh, Uranus and Esmeralda again for the banning phase of this uh, two teams. I guess, though, for uh, Team Laos, they should not fixate uh, on the certain heroes that they think that are kind of uh, worthy of their lineup. I guess uh, they should go beyond their limits for this one because we know that they, this is the Philippines so that they are uh, they are fighting for uh, the last series and if we say Philippines though though bias there are a lot of options for them we have actually a rebo with a variety nice variation of here pull for this one although for allows we have mentioned this earlier one of those heroes that uh, made their heads first it's gonna be uh, the low e ban for t laws onto this one for uh, Philippines, though, it's the Kajaban, so it's more of a dive. I guess uh, they are preparing their lineup for a type of composition that yes. goes for the dive in. Yep, yep, yep. It's an active ban, and that is going to be a uh, Popol and Koopa ban. I kind of, I think, I, I think I see what Philippines is doing here. I think they're preparing Carl TZ for the Hayabusa. That might just be it. Ooh, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing, but nonetheless. Laos here first picking the uh, Esmeralda. Mmm, they flash it. Mmm, they flash it. Oh, nice, nice. Are they teasing? No. But no, uh, I do think that um, the, the the reason why uh, Laos oh. here took out the Luoyi obviously was... Whoa, hold up. Double core again? Your team is okay. Nope, all right. <laughs> it, 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 all right. This is a different story right now. Right, but the yeah, Philippines pulls all off right. again. The double core hero. That is a different story to tell. That is actually for the books. Uh, if that goes out. All for your team laws. This is again, just like a game number one. Nice facing in terms of drafting. We can see yeah. the Esmeralda and the Atlas. Both part of the so-called uh, rotating meta uh, for this one. It's just that they have the Selena for uh, their uh, for their pick. So I guess mm -hmm. it's for the aggressive type now for uh, Team Laws. They have the Atlas for the easy crowd control plus the Abyssal yep. Arrow coming in from yep. the Selena. Yep. While we're waiting for this last lock on the Philippines, I was wondering um, why Laos banned out the Uranus? Uh, because why would you target the side lanes uh, if you see that the Philippines are, are so comfortable with their side lanes? They're able to pick up even Masha, right? The Xborg, I believe, was available. No, the Xborg was blocked out. But the Cho was still available and they still picked up the Masha. You know, it, it's just uh, the side lanes are so varied, but I guess they would rather take out one. Now, the core for Laos is in question. Is it going to be the Esmeralda because the Philippines took out the Ling? Mm-hmm. For uh, Laos, though, I see. I guess uh, they should go for the carry. We mentioned that earlier. Or, or again, we will. Or uh, there's a possibility that again they will go for the Lancelot again. Yeah, for uh, this one, yes, yeah, round two for uh, the Lancelot. Though for the Your third ban, it's going to be the Valir more on the support. So actually, Ooh. that is going to be a good ban. Uh, it will be a little bit of a problem for them if the Valir was actually picked. All the Philippines is hovering for uh, this Harley. So I'm not really sure. If this Harley is gonna be picked, I, I guess uh, they're uh, talking like about tease. which uh, it's like a tease. Yes, it looks like a tease. <laughs> they're teasing the enemy, although export. So, um, I'll go back to the thought. Actually, with uh, the batting out of the Uranus, um, the Philippines has a lot of options in terms of the off lane or the side lane. So I guess uh, the Uranus and the Esmeralda first priority pick for team loss is uh, not really good of an idea mm -hmm. so when it, the quad was open yeah it felt counterintuitive so i don't know um but uh here we see laos finish up their lineup it's going to be the jawhead and the bruno so this answers our question here uh chantel it's going to be a side lane esmeralda while the philippines have yet to show us who their support is um who's up there who's out who's out hmm Oh, their own Lunox? Lunox for the support is actually good. Um, uh, for Team Philippines, uh, brings about the damage and it's uh, really difficult for the Bruno. Uh, Bruno is not good in the clearing of the minion wave on the early part of the game. There's no enough damage um, actually for the DPS per se. Uh, for the Lunox though, it's uh, easy for him or uh, easy for the Lunox to burst a Bruno on the middle lane. Yep. So. 
uh, it, I think it's come to the point wherein we have to make our predictions before the game starts. Um, yeah, given the uh, questionable ban and the focus on the Esmeralda, although I'm looking forward to it performing, uh, please, I'd love to be surprised. I do think uh, the Philippines here is going to walk away with a 2-0, given that, again, it's the Claude. It's just so hard to, to, to go wrong with the Claude. Yep, uh, actually, yeah, I would like to agree with that. I would love to agree on that. And knowing that Claude is really good um, on the middle lane, on the funnel strategy, we also have the Lunox on the early game. I uh, said that earlier that the Lunox partnered with the Marksman is a really a good combination a uh, for a team. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of damage both for the early and the latter part of the game. So I guess uh, I'm kind of confident for this one that. Uh, Mm, Philippines will uh, go for 2-0 mm -hmm. uh, for uh, this last series, although for Team Laos, if ever this Esmeralda spikes up with the damage and uh, um, hopefully this uh, Bruno, though, doesn't get killed on the early part of the game, yes. that is a good story for Team Laos. Yeah, well, to be fair, I, I do think that there's very little that uh, Team Philippines can do without getting sour to kill the Bruno in the early game. I do think that Chun here might have a free pass, at least for the first five minutes. But we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go into game number two, Team Laos versus Team Philippines. Okay, so this is again another Claude for Cortese onto this one. We saw this earlier. They were a bit uh, delayed on the early part of the game, but, but they went back, actually won that game against Team Laos onto this one. Although this is going to be, I guess, a, a different rotation for uh, Team Laos against uh, Team Philippines. We are actually seeing uh, three players onto the mid the lane. Okay, so that was just a change of plan for uh, Team Laos, though Esmeralda actually uh, cleared the minion wave onto the mid lane but here comes the engagement we are seeing right now shut up is almost out of life flap tz is using the x -Borg for uh, team philippines on to this one so nice uh, pickup of uh, heroes here for uh, team philippines for team laws though they are actually down in terms of gold yep uh this early on 300 ahead is team philippines but still no first blood drawn just yet and yeah so far no buff stolen yeah, Chon is having an okay time. Mm hmm. Well, I, I was actually expecting Team Philippines to go for an invade because they have the Kufra and the Lunox for their lineup. But uh, they are kind of uh, safe or they're mindful of uh, the damage that uh, Team Laos can bring about for this game. So for uh, Team Philippines, this is a more quiet game for them. As uh, Same with uh, Team Laos, actually. We actually saw them be aggressive on game number one. But uh, that is a different one for this one. Although, uh, Lusty for the map mission, see the difference here. We have the tank actually at the river side bringing uh, information for team philippines for this game flap tz is alone on the side lanes good thing here though for the export he has the firaga armor regardless if there are three players four players coming from team laos to go for the gank he has the opportunity to survive yep uh and again this is uh smart for team laos to protect chun and not pick any fights just yet just secure the farm and here comes lasty coming in from behind of chun shut up needs to do a lot to protect his core dream going in with the jump blocked by lasty with the bouncing ball kaltizi dealing a lot of damage but oh ribo caught out with the abyssal arrow but it was point blank not much there and lasty gonna go down here first blood goes to chun and chun is happy to take that as the bounty hunter Bruno now dream being the target here by Carl TZ. Chun taken down by few. There's the kill by Carl TZ as well. On to dream now. Blazing Peter, duet. Peter gonna go down the blazing duet. That was a really backup or a turn of it. Turn out of events by uh, Team Philippines onto this one. We actually see Few being the savior of the team fight. It was a good timing for him to go back up his uh, teammates against Team Laws. It was a good trade for uh, Team Laws, although they took uh, the first bot. It was uh, three players, I guess, for uh, Team Philippines that. Uh, they got against Team Laos. The turtle has been taken here by Team Philippines all this game. Gold lead is now on their side. While this is happening, oh. Peter Peter is almost out of life. And it's gonna be a killing spree for this Claude. Oh, what was that, Chantel? Peter Peter was barely even level 3. And wow, now just stunted growth here for the Selena. 
Churn here being bullied by Flap TZ. Uh, Churn able to clear the minion waves pretty quickly with the smart missiles. And it looks like, what is this? Rebo and Few picking a fight with Dream, and I think they are going to catch it. There you go. Lunox taking down the Esmeralda. Nice uh, ganking uh, strategy here for Team Philippines. We have the Lunox for the burst damage. We said that earlier. And so far for uh, Team Philippines, they are maximizing the Chaos Assault by a Lunox. Here comes Lusty. He's actually Ooh. ready. He Got took him. up a tune. Actually, we have the last insanity coming in from Flap Teasy. Peter Peter is there for the backup. Tune is still alive. Hearn is here with a double force. Flap Teasy is down, though. It's going to be a 1 1 4 1 trade in favor of no one. <laughs> I guess that's a one for one trade. It's just that Chu was down. The marksman or the um, hyper carry of Team Laws is down against the Claude of Team Philippines. Yep, so uh, I think that's going to be a win for Team Philippines. I mean, every single time, if an ex Borg would be traded for a Bruno, that's a deal I'll take. Now, Few popping the Inferno in the middle of Peter Peter and Dream. Here comes the backup. Lasty gonna go for the jump. Few jumping through the wall, protecting himself. Now, shut up, looking for a great Fatal Lynx. Not gonna find it there as Lusty bounces away. And that is going to be a push up top by Hearn. So, Team Laos making some strides as well, evening it out with Team Philippines one to one when it comes to turrets. Actually, Leo, we haven't talked about. Uh, this uh, Rebo spell actually, or uh, the emblem for his uh, Luna. It's actually a tank emblem for the Lunas, which is very interesting for that one. Uh, again, Chun is also down for Team Laws. Here comes the Fatal Lens. He takes out two for against Team Philippines. Although Turtle has been taken here, here comes the backup. Here comes oh. Cortese with a blazing duet, taking down three heroes. Actually, double kill for him onto this one. Turn, I mean, her is out. the only oh. hero left for Team Laws onto this game. Yeah, that was a delayed wipeout as Chun spawns in. Not going to be able to save this second tier turret. And Few goes to steal his orange. Wow. If Team Laos are making like steps towards victory, Team Philippines are sprinting. They are jogging towards the finish line. And Team Laos needs to catch up. But... Chantel, it seems so hard to catch up because Chun is not close to ready. This this Bruno is not ready. Yep, and uh, he's not uh, literally maximizing uh, the bounty hunter spell because uh, his team is not actually taking kills against mm -hmm. uh, Team Philippines. For Philippines, though, what's good about this team is uh, all the possible opportunity to take heroes. They are taking it. Uh, seeing right now, we could see the Atlas uh, down for uh, Team Laws. Here comes Cortes again oh. with the base duet. Actually, the damage is there. Lusty was also there for the backup on the bouncing ball just to um, uh, enclose the players of team laws it's gonna be a double kill for him while this is happening the claude is now on the middle lane um uh, wanting to take down or actually oh. took down uh this uh middle lane inhibitor turret against team laos got it wow after nearly dying in, in top lane he goes ahead bmi into the mid now that's going to be flap tz with the last sanity taken out hern but for carl tz catches the Abyssal Arrow Dream wants to finish the job, but it looks like Ooh. he's the one who's gonna get finished here. Wow! One HP and a Dream walks away, just barely alive, and that is going to be him living another day to defend, but looks like Team Philippines wants to end this quickly as they crash down top and bottom, but wait! Fatal Lynx! Going to be fatal for him once more! That's going to be shut up, shut down by Team Philippines as they take this bottom lane turret. Uh, actually, for uh, this one, Carlty, we could see him with the objective per se onto this one. We have the flicker out for Flap C onto this X Borg. He has the immortality, though. We have Rebo for the backup. They are still alive. Not enough damage coming in from uh, Team Laws onto this one. Well, this is happening. We could see again another objective being taken here by uh, Cartesi mm -hmm. on this one. Team oh. is. Uh, down by the hands of this uh, Team Philippines. You have the last insanity again. And I guess for uh, Team Philippines, they are really on the verge of ending this game against Team Laos. Another blazing duet uh, for uh, Cartesi. Although, Cartesi is down by the hands of Chun or the oh. Bruno of Team Laos. What a shutdown. 6-1-6. Now Carl's TZ stands and Lusty taken out by Peter Peter. But that turret is going to bite it. Down bottom. Up top should be the next target. 
uh, throwing up them stickers and them recalls is Bren Esports. That's what they're known for, Team Philippines. Now, Few goes for the bite, popping the counter into the Inferno. Shut up, looking for a Fatal Links. Does he get it? Oh, he finds one. Does he get? Yes, Rebo goes flying up into Ooh. the air, but it looks like that emblem is going to help him survive uses the order of brilliance but survives for just one more second as chun finishes him off now flap tz finishes off that turret up top and just like that there were some lives lost on the side of team philippines but for the the clean sweep of the base i think it's worth it mm -hmm. actually for uh, team laos it it will be uh, really difficult for them. They don't have the burst damage if ever they want to go for the fast clean of the Binion. Every lane is actually top, middle, and bottom lane. They only have the Esmeralda, which uh, has a comp a, which is in a complex situation if he goes in. But again, oh. here comes the Blazing Duo. Chin is down. Same goes with shot up of Team Laws. We have Lusty on the Tyrant's Rage. Plus the Tyrant's Revenge taken down. Dream. Falling Storm with though not enough damage. And... Three players down for Team Laws on this one. We have four players coming in from Team Philippines. They have the minion wave. They could go for a tower lock. They could end this game. Although, again, we have the last insanity for Flap TZ onto this X Borg and Core TZ again with his blazing do it. Just the damage enough to destroy the players of Team Laws onto this game. Shut up who shuts down Carl TZ, but it might be too late. There are minions here and they are going to end the game for Team Philippines. 2-0 here in favor of Brenny 